Hello, my name is Ray Chambers and I'm an IT teacher at Lodge Park Technology College in Corby, Northamptonshire. Now, originally I made a connect quiz to assess how my students were picking up the key terms in my lessons. Now, after playing around with my original one, I decided that it would be much easier if I could save all their progress from each of the tests. Now, what I've added to this one is I've added a text box which you can type their name into and the class. And now every time you press the save button, it will store it in a separate file, which I'll just show you here. So it's stored in the results file. And basically every time someone takes the test, if you press the save button, you'll be able to store their results now. And this can easily be exported into Excel. Because I've set it up using commas, you can set that up in Excel and then you can produce graphs from their results. The other thing I've added, you'll notice, is a set elevation button. Now sometimes the connect can be either too high or too low or you may like to have it mounted in the class. But what you can now do is move this up and down and set it. The other thing you can do is choose which celebrity you want to be. And all you need to do is go into the debug folder and choose which file you want and all three of these pictures can be replaced with any head you want so you could put a cartoon character on there if you're in primary school now I'm just going to run this and I'll just show you it working so this is a new connect quiz running uh, you'll notice that I found out how to animate text so if you look at the top of the screen you've got the connect quiz that comes and goes the other thing that I've added is the set elevation button. So this is it working. Okay. You can also save your scores. So I'm just going to type in something random here and save that. And if I go into the folder, and open up results there you have the latest one added in if I select a different celebrity head I'll have that head following my head around and if I select this one it changes just like that so remember, all you need to do is go into the folder and change them and then you'll have it working.